Well, big changes are happening at City Market. In the next couple of months, you will have to pay to park there. We've been following this story, and 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake is there live to explain. Sarah. Well, the first go around, City Market wanted to charge people more, but the tenant said no way. Now, this finalized proposal, or policy rather, is more of a compromise, but still, some businesses are concerned. Customers will have to get used to a new paid parking policy at the city market starting March 1st. Uh, this second proposal, it looks way better than the first one, and I'm happy with it. After many tenants voiced their frustrations at an early January meeting, city market management tweaked the first draft of the policy. Now it's finalized. The parking lots surrounding the city market are a dollar an hour to park. Three tickets means your car gets towed. I mean, every big city has, they have to pay for parking lot, you know, a dollar if an hour is nothing, so. This is to push out the all-day parkers who take the streetcar to their downtown jobs, essentially leaving no spaces for customers. The city market square is free for two hours, bumped down from three. We're able to get in and out, especially here at the bakery. They want to come in and grab a cup of coffee or a croissant in the morning. City market employees will get a hang tag to park free, but river market businesses won't. Although they often use city market lots to park. I should be given the same free parking as the city market employees do. Sue Burke's company, KC Air Filter, doesn't have its own lot. Her employees would have to pay $55 a month to park, according to the policy, which she says is way too expensive. I feel like I am being forced to move. This is $20,000 a year to Kansas City, Missouri's economy that's going to go away permanently. Again, this parking policy goes into effect March 1st. And good news, parking will still be free on the weekends. At the City Market, I'm Sarah Plake, 41 Action News.